is fourth right now. Ryan Truex is fifth. And next to go out, 30th car to make a run oh. is Parker Kligerman. Oh, my goodness. Into the wall. Yeah. Backup car there. The that. I'm, I'm sure that's what he said. But I see, I see the front tires locking up. So that's a little hard to understand. See that left front start to lock up. Maybe it just maybe it went to the floor further the, or maybe he just got on brakes too hard and it went to the floor. It looked like looked like that. So he's managing a lot. High school student during the week, racing on the weekends, and it just got away from him there. Yeah, and that's the fine line that Joey is talking about. You can see that black strip of resin. And on the restart. Seven now out in front of Cole Custer. Whoa. And Josh Berry goes around. Brake. Hold the brake. You see him going down into turn three here. A little help. Yeah. Chandler Smith. See that guy in there pretty high. I don't know if he was going for the middle lane and the eight had it backed up to go to the bottom. They ran right in the back of him, Kevin. That's pretty much what happened, though. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to see it, and it's hard to tell right there if the left front tire was locked up. Turn three here is, you know, when you get in there hard, there are some bumps over the swells that, that Chandler could have locked up the left front tire because he hit him pretty good. That's a direct hit. Drivers searching for it in the first quarter. Yeah, we saw in the first run, it took 15, 20 laps for drivers to get up there. Now it's immediate. Nima check to the lead. Brett Moffitt goes break, for a break, slide break. right at the start-finish line. Oh, oh, man. oh, that was close. 45 goes by Eagle. Once again, down into turn three. Three wide. You see Moffat right there in the middle. Looks like he, he's loose. Oh, no. The 51 just barely looked like he just barely came down. And when it hits the right front like that, it looked like it hit the right front. And it just takes the, the front of the car and turns it around. He was being scored 11th when he went for a slide. This was close. Turn four. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Greg Galding missed him in the 08. 91 Garrett Smithley drove high to get around him. <laughs> Did you see him, Rick? Yeah, you see the, see the donut on the door right there where it looked like the 51 car just didn't really realize there was overall. Uh oh. And we're going to get our fifth caution of the day. Connor Mozak in the 24. Just to see if you can pick it up. Yeah, you see him. It looks like, like he, he may got loose underneath somebody. Yeah, it looked like he was under Riley there. In the 98 car and, and got loose. 92's Josh Williams sliding to miss him. And that's really typical here in turn one, and especially in these Here's cars. You what happened? He was running in the top five. That's his teammate. Oh, man. Huh. Yeah, there was a couple laps before that where I saw Sam get into the back of, of Josh over here in turns three and four, and I didn't really think of it, anything of it, but he got into him again right here and spun him out. Things that make you go, hmm. There's no bump drafting at Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh Berry would agree with that. <laughs> now, hey, I, I want to go back. On, on the way to break, I said John Hunter Neiman. There he is right. coming into the screen. He's already into the wall there, but. Well, you're carrying a lot of speed there in, into turn one, and while you don't see the full impact of the hit, almost back to the top five. Right down the center. <laughs> we talked about the fire. Oh, we Shelton should've... Creed goes around. Caution number nine. Looks to me like the left rear tire is already flat. Yeah. Maybe there was contact earlier. Everybody does a great job. Wow. Look at the six car right there. Does a great job not not hitting him, but you can see the left rear tire is yeah, just flat. completely flat right there. And a lot of times there was probably contact somewhere before that to uh, to cut that tire down. Here's what's tough: you come down and get tires, but but you don't have any, so you just put on you know some stickers from earlier in the race. I mean, he hates that he spun from eight. He he really hates that he's not going to be able to do much on those odd, older tires the rest of the race with no track position. Yeah, that's a real dagger. Just lost sure. it. Yeah. Spun out quick, too. Yeah, it looked like it just snapped on him a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, Joey and I were just talking about how a lot of the cars look loose into the corner. I don't think the left rear tire is flat. Coming nope. out on the 
positive side of it. Well, he's he's learned on every restart, and he's gotten better on every single restart, and he's just putting that to use. And here's John Hunter just sailing it down in the one, kind of all or nothing like we talked about. As the caution's out, the seven, big damage. 11th caution of the day in the run of top tens, top fives, and top threes. Going to end for Justin Allgaier. Just in turn three. This has been the issue corner a lot of times. Oh, man. Brandon Jones. That was the first hit. Oh, and it, it's not over yet. Oh. Yeah, and that was just a just a chain of events there, kind of one of those racing deals where the nine got in the corner right here and got into the back of him just a little bit. Yep. The competition meeting at Junior Motorsports it's is going to be, be entertaining. entertaining this yeah, this week. is a two of them. Yeah, it's definitely going to be entertaining because the one got one into the, the eight. eight. Yeah. Nine into the seven. A lot, of, a lot of combo shots happening here. But but I ask you, off the very top of the broadcast today, Joey, how aggressive are things going to get on track? And we're finding out 11 cautions and some race cars that are really beat up now. Well, you think it's you think it's been aggressive to this point. What are we? We're <laughs> All coming bets to, are off we're, now, we're right? We're coming 20 to 20 to laps to go. <laughs> I mean, a lot of that is just there's so much going on. You know, these guys are racing hard, really the whole last, since the last restart. Crossing each other up. You see Kyle go back down to the bottom. I think this is where it's going to get interesting. Look at that. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Oh, my goodness. It's Chandler Smith in the 16, who, oh, by the way, finished fifth and has now got his third consecutive top oh. five finish, another rookie. He's really How about Ryan Truex, Regan? In the wall, Eric Almirola will right at the start finish line. I heard the tire explode. The wheel left the hub. It's rolling around by itself. And oh, nobody hits it. We're under caution. And that's not the entire wheel. That's a good. Something broke, gave way. It just took a hard ride, and then all of a sudden that wheel spits out. I'd say. Spin! Harrison Burton! Front straightaway caution, a very quick caution as Burton very quickly got righted and drove away. But the yellow flag was all Harrison Burton up at the top of the screen, spins, gets it sideways all by himself. Looking back from uh, Alex kind of spins down on the apron, gets it gathered back up. Not sure if the flat tire caused the spin or the spin caused the flat tire. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Right. No, shut on him. There's Reddick, 45. I said a late caution. He's going to be interesting. Oh, oh there's another out. caution. And caution waves. Harvick didn't get up as much as I thought he was going to. They closed the door on him. Way to the He's... right side of your screen. Ty got in a wad. Oh, here come the rest of them. Noah. Almondinger got together down on the bottom, come up in front of him. Two separate incidents. In fact, there was smoke from Gibbs before that. He may have already been in the wall, like there. And then gets it again. Into to the turn two wall, end up the last cars on the lead lap. Uh, let's Danny show you what happened up. big time, Cascade. crowded him, took off in a push, never lived out of the gas, slams into the side of the one carpet.